other you can. There was a cheesy movie made back in the 60s and 70s. I think it was called The Hunter. And the long and short of it was that a female better journal went to Africa to photograph the wildlife. She was staying at a reserve owned and operated by a hunter. You have to understand that the context of the movie at the time, being made in the 60s or 70s, at the time when pacifism and anti-gun sentiments were very strong. <laughs> so it was all um, peace, love, and happiness. During the course of the movie, um, this photojournalist and the man who was the owner of the reserve sort of don't get along because she's a pacifist and he's not, he's a hunter. Enter the dashing young man, and I forget what his job was, but he came into the picture. They um, fell in love, this man and, and the little journalist, female, and uh, somehow chaos ensues and the hunter becomes totally you know, sort of obsessed and maniacal and starts, you know, becoming tyrannical towards the natives and all this. And eventually uh, ends up beating up this love interest of the photojournalist because he's jealous, I suppose. And beats him quite severely and is getting ready to feed him to the piranha when the anti-gun pacifist female photojournalist turns around and shoots him. So, the moral of the story for me is, where's your line? That was her line. She put up with a lot of nonsense from this mean tyrannical hunter, but it wasn't until he went after her boyfriend that she decided she needed to pick up the gun and become the hunter herself. Everybody has a line. What's your line? You need to think about this now, not at the time when it happens, because that will be too late. You need to sit down and in your mind go through scenarios and simply decide where is your line. At the time I saw that movie, I was quite young. And very much the peace, love, and happiness chick, anti-gun, anti-violence. But after watching that movie, I realized that even I had a line. And now that I have my own family and children, I see that line even more clearly than I did at that time. Time's getting short, folks. You need to wrap your brain around the fact that this isn't the happy little peace, love, and happiness world that we once thought it was. There are people that would kill you in a heartbeat and never think about it again. Just something to think about, folks.